You may know the feeling. You're sitting in your car, stuck in stop and go traffic, waiting out a long commute. So you ask yourself, why doesn't somebody do something about this? In the Washington, D.C. area, somebody is. A Bechtel joint venture is building the first phase of a 23 mile extension of the Washington Metro Rail that will bring relief to thousands of commuters. The project, one of the largest of its kind currently in the United States, will serve the Tyson's Corner and Reston Herndon areas of Virginia, that state's first and second largest employment centers. And it will provide a one seat ride from Dulles International Airport to downtown Washington. Construction began in 2009, and Phase 1 is scheduled for completion in 2013. The Dulles Metro Rail project is creating some 1,300 construction jobs and already has pumped more than $600 million into the local economy. And that's just the beginning. We're already the number one job area in Northern Virginia, and we're just getting bigger and bigger. And I think the Metro is going to be a big plus for transportation as well as development and, and adding more businesses um, and growth economically to our region. The project has played right into Bechtel's talent for designing and building complex infrastructure projects. And this one is complex. For instance, it has required a custom-built crane called a truss to build a section of elevated track that will carry Metro Rail trains above the Capitol Beltway and over Tyson's Corner. The crane, weighing 366 tons, will stretch across 12 lanes of traffic and move by remote control from one segment to the next. This method of construction allows us to do the work above the, the uh, traffic and the public without the, with the minimum amount of disruptions to the community. Less evident, but equally as challenging, is a 2,400-foot tunnel beneath Tyson's Corner that will connect two of the five new stations planned for Phase 1. Excavation for most of the tunnel has been done using the new Austrian tunneling method, NATIM for short, which cuts and carts away soil from each tunnel face using highly specialized mining equipment. We have a uh, NATIM tunnel that only has about seven foot of ground cover. It's probably the shallowest tunnel that I ever built in my 35 year career. And we were able to do that without having any undue settlements on the street or any effect on the infrastructure surrounding the tunnel. As with all Bechtel projects, safety on the Dulles Metro Rail extension is paramount, both for workers and for travelers who pass the construction site each day. Maintenance of traffic is important for a number of reasons. First and primarily to keep our workers safe and the public safe while we're building the job and also to keep the overall schedule going. Uh, we're trying to build the Metro Rail in this existing roadway system and, and it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge that Bechtel is more than happy to meet. In fact, workers on the project seem even more excited than the general public as they see the new tracks and stations go from the drawing board to reality. I drive past our work every day on my commute into Tyson's Corner and every day I see something new and I just, I drive by and I can't help but just say, wow, I mean, this is amazing. We are building this. I'm a part of this. 